Hi students, today we are going to talk about DNA replication. We had previously mentioned in the sessions, what is DNA replication? DNA replication is a process by which different copies of a DNA is been synthesized by a cell using the enzyme called the DNA polymerases. The various proteins as well as the various uh, enzymes as well as the various subsidiary molecules which have been needed for the DNA replication were being discussed in detail in the last session. Now we are going to talk about the models of DNA replication. There are basically three main models which we observe in the DNA replication. The first one is the theta model which we had already discussed. The second one is the ro rolling circle model which has been found in the replication of plasmid DNA and the third one is the D-loop of replication which is mainly found in the mitochondrial DNA. So let's go into the details of it. First let me just recall with the bacterial chromosome replication the theta model. Normally DNA replication happens in from a site called the origin of replication and this synthesis of DNA mainly occurs at the replication fork the place at which the DNA helix is unwound and the individual strands are being replicated. Two replication forks of the bacterial chromosome will move outward from the origin until they have copied the whole replicon and the portion of the genome that contains the origin is replicated as a unit. Now when the replication forks move around the circular chromosome, what will happen? A theta shaped structure is being formed. And this theta shaped model is referred to as the theta model what we are referring in the DNA replication. So when the origin of replication meets at the ter site that is when the replication fork meets at the ter site what happens the replication will end. So during the replication of bacterial chromosome you will find a structure which is in the shape of a theta and this model is referred to as the theta model okay so you are basically seeing the theta model of DNA replication in the case of the bacterial chromosome let's go to the next model called the rolling circle model one thing which I need to tell you about this before we could go into the details is that we should remember that in the, the bacteria the genetic material is mainly the circular chromosome other than the bacterial chromosome we also have another extra chromosomal genetic material that is referred to as the plasmid we learn the theta model by which the bacterial chromosome has been replicated but the plasmid also needs a mode to replicate and the rolling circle model of DNA replication is been exhibited by mainly by the plasmids of DNA also in the case of certain phages or viruses okay which uh, which fill their heads with linear DNA are also been replicated by using this particular rolling circle model basically the rolling circle model of replication first what happens I told you earlier it is mainly happening in the case of the extra chromosomal genetic material or in the plasmids so in the plasmids what happens a nick is made in one of the strands of the circular DNA resulting in the replication of the circle and the tail so first if you have a double stranded plasmid a single stranded cut has been formed a nick has been formed in one strand okay and uh, further after what happens this nick is that chain is being extended for the and the new DNA strands are being added at the three dash end and that newly formed strain is also being displaced and ultimately you get two circular DNA this is usually occurring in the case of the F plasmid or in E. coli HFR chromosome during the conjugation and you can also see it in the cases of certain phages as we mentioned in the case of uh, viruses and all that this can happen and let's go into the details of this because it's not quite uh, evident from this picture so let's go to something which will be more informative now the mechanism of rolling circle replication starts now at the sometimes what happens the plasmid can occur as a 
counter mo uh, molecule that is it will be rep it will be entwined with each other and it will form a counter mo double uh, it will form a molecule like this so when this plasmid has to be it's a double stranded molecule which has been uh, super coiled upon, upon each other okay so when this plasmid has to get replicated some proteins called the rep a proteins will come and bind onto it and what they do is they produce a nick on the dna and what and the rep a protein will also go and bind so when a nick has been formed you will get a on the single stranded dna you will have a 3 dash oh and you will also have a 5 dash phosphate the rep a protein will go and bind to the 5 dash phosphate of the nicked dna and at the same time another enzyme called the dna polymerase 3 will come and bind to the 3 dash oh and will bind will start the dna synthesis the helicases a certain other unwinding enzyme will come and will be replacing or will be pulling across will be pulling the parent strand which has been that is the template the from the nick from the rep a region the dna will be displaced so the dna synthesis will be carried out by dna polymerase from the 3 dash oh and the other strand the 5 5 dash phosphate end which was been nicked and which has been helped by rep a will be pulled by the rep a proteins with the help of helicase and so as a result what happens the strand which gets displaced will be a single stranded of dna but there is a chance of the single stranded dna to get what degraded so to prevent its degradation the strand of dna see this one this is the one which is getting displaced and it is single stranded as it is getting displaced certain proteins called the ssbs will come in or the single strand binding proteins will come and bind onto the displaced strand so that they will not get be degraded further on when this synthesis or synthesis is happening like this and finally when the whole strand of uh, the new dna is been formed here it has been broken this has been again cut and that has been released okay and you will get a fully formed dna over here okay and now when you look into this picture you can see that here the dna synthesis is completely over and the whole circle of the new DNA is been formed. And what does Rep A do once the whole thing has been displaced? What happens? It will, it will again nick this parent strand which was there, and it will join these two strands together. Okay, so you will get an old strand, a single stranded uh, DNA which has been bound by SSBs. It will be as well as the Rep A will be formed here this is the one which has been formed here at the same time now we got a double stranded dna here and this double stranded dna would also have a nick probably okay because this has to be joined here once this has been cut over here a small gap would be here in between that has been linked by ligase and the whole double stranded plasmid has been formed here now you already have one strand here which is single stranded bound with the ssp proteins as well as the rep a protein and i told you that this would be ligated by the rep a and that is what has been formed here in the next step what happens is rep a will move and further at some particular region the dna will form a loop towards the inside it will loop towards the inside and at that particular region a small RNA primer has been synthesized okay and using this RNA primer RNA polymerase okay it was RNA polymerase or the primase which is synthesizing the RNA primer and once the RNA primer is been found what happens the DNA polymerase 3 will further come and synthesize the DNA okay further on when DNA polymerase 3 is doing the DNA synthesis is completed what happens DNA polymerase 1 comes and removes the RNA primer and you get two strands of the plasmid over here 
so this is how the rolling circle model of replication or how plasmid dna is been synthesized in the case of bacteria so let's go into the steps for your recollection the rep a protein has been coded by the plasmid gene and it binds to the double stranded plasmid it produces a nick and hold on to the 5 dash end of the dna and at the 3 dash end the dna polymerase 3 does the dna synthesis and rep a recruits helicases which unwinds the dna and as the dna unwinds it gets coated with single stranded binding proteins ultimately the first nick strand gets displaced and remains bound to the ssb protein until the replication is complete then after that the rep a protein will join the two ends of the displaced strand and release it at the same time dna ligase will seal the nick in the newly formed double stranded dna molecule hereafter the single stranded dna forms a loop onto which the rna polymerase will attach a primer and the host DNA polymerase 3 will synthesize new DNA molecule to make it a double stranded DNA. Finally, the DNA ligase as we told earlier will seal the nick after the primer has been removed. I hope this is clear to you. Thank you.